Hello and welcome guys, Armageddon Videos here. Today with a tutorial about shading your text or putting shadows on your text. I don't want to call it shading, but yeah, um, it's a pretty common style actually to put shadows on your text to make it look more, yeah, I don't, yeah, I think it just looks better at all. And um, yeah, most people are actually getting or achieving this effect with Photoshop. They're having a vector logo or more like text and then bringing it over to Photoshop to kind of create some mask and draw the shadows on there and they're drawing it with pixels. And the problem there is if you're switching to Photoshop you're losing all the cool stuff or the export functions of vectors and having all the the, the non-destructive workflow it just goes away. And well I figured out a technique um, where you can keep all the cool vector stuff and work non-destructive while being in Illustrator without switching to Photoshop. And yeah in this tutorial I want to show you this technique. So let me show you what we are going to create today. This is what we are going to create. I just made this logo out of some simple shapes, rounded up the corners and yeah, I think it's a perfect kind of font or shape for this to show this technique. So yeah, of course you should use your own logo or text or whatever you have right there and try it out. As you can see there's this cool, nice and subtle shadow and most people are doing this in Photoshop and I just want to show you how to create it within Illustrator without any problems, fast and easy, non-destructive, just as I mentioned. So I've prepared this um, document right here with the logo on it and yeah, first of all to the theory about it. Um, this works best if you're having a straight line that's being cut by a nice and round line just like this. As you can see this is pretty straight and this is nice and round and it's cutting it right here 90 degrees almost. And yeah, let's just start. Well, we're going to grab a ellipse and make sure to make it perfect. So hold down shift, and make it big. So let's see if this is too big. Yeah, I think a bit too big. It has to cover your text right here, but also shouldn't be too big. So what we're going to achieve now is we want to lay out the bottom part of our circle right here, right on the edge of our text. And I've just switched to the outline mode to see it better. So make it as perfect as you can. Just like this. Oops, I wanted to zoom out. And there we go. Okay, now you're wondering what the hell is he doing? Now just draw a shape around it by using your pen tool, press P, select those two shapes, go to the Pathfinder and unite them. You can find the Pathfinder by going to Window and Pathfinder. Now select this shape plus your text. Hold Shift and M to get the uh, the how is it called again? The Shape Builder tool. And if you now press uh, Alt, you can see that my cursor changes from a plus to a minus. Hold on Alt and draw over here. So subtract this shape. Subtract this shape. Now we got this. As you can see, if there are some little issues, you can just go in here and delete this one. Not a big deal, actually. Boom. Let's zoom in. Hold down Alt and drag this in. As you can see, if you don't work perfect, you have to adjust it like this and kind of looks bad. But look at this. It was 7000% zoomed in and you won't tell it or you can tell it um, later on. But if you want to be more precise, just go in and change this up. So. You know, guys, my graphic design OCD wants me to make it perfect, but <laughs> now there's a little dot right there, but you know, guys, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it like this. Of course, you have to put some more time in it. All right, so we got this right here. Press Control X to put it into your clipboard and remove it from the scene. Next up, we're going to draw out a circle just like this. Then go to Appearance. Same here. If you don't have this window, go to Appearance. FX and then go to blur, Gaussian blur, preview. And well, let's 50 per 50 pixels should be fine, I guess. Yep. Let's hit OK. Next up, make a mask for this blurred out um, shape right here. Make mask. And now select this mask right here and press Control F to paste in our previously cut out shape again. Now hit invert mask and boom, you can see we got our great looking shadows. Now we need to switch back over here and it's non-destructive guys. 
super nice and easy, no need to switch to Photoshop. And if you want to move this, all you need to do is uh, unlink this layer right here and then you can move this, try out how it looks. And I think this is super awesome, right? Um, now you can try to adjust the opacity. I just bring it down to around 50 and crank this up a little more right here. Just like this. And yeah, quick and easy tutorial to show you how to create shadows or shading on your text within Illustrator because most guys are drawing out their typography or anything. Then uh, tracing it in, in, in Illustrator again and then making the shadows in Photoshop which kind of destroys the whole workflow and the coolness of working with vectors. So yeah, that's my technique on how to shade your text in Illustrator. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys. Leave a like, a comment and subscribe. And suggest me some more tutorials in the, in the comment box below. I'm going to read them, comment if they are good and note them down to make a tutorial about it. And okay, see you in another video. Armageddon videos.